Hi there, I'm Patrick Mateen, Executive Editor at Inside Archery. Today we're going to have a look at the adjustable red dot system. Now, this is a pretty cool deal. You get, it, the kit comes with a mount, which you see here. It comes with the, um, the scope rings here. And also with the dot scope, as you can see. And what this allows you to do is, first off, remove your peep. You don't need a peep. Your, your anchor point doesn't become nearly as critical and and you can adjust this for any you know any range needed so you know no no peeps no pins um, a lot more latitude with your anchor point and just you just draw back center the the dot or the crosshair there's there's different options on the dial just center the target uh, with the dot and let her rip it's it's that easy now this does come with you can, you can these are standard rings it's working great for this bow um, there's also mediums long x longs just really depending on um, riser thickness and, and curves and where you want to anchor as much as anything but uh, and also there's three different options for this for the red dot scope you can, this is the ultra dot it's really compact and, and little works great there's the match dot that has multiple um, dot options and then there's the match dot two um, these can be ordered left or right handed and again the the, the package comes with mounts the attachment rings the dot scope and a, actually a quiver mount as well it's all made out of high quality materials all nice milled solid aluminum and and made in the USA thanks for the interest in the site I'm just gonna go over and because you guys want to see how it works and then we'll shoot it a few times and I'll, and I'm just gonna show you so I've sighted these bows in just one time at 20 yards uh, we just set these ones up so basically when we're set up at, at 20 yards in this case the our adjustable part is at the very top now when we move back and we're gonna go shoot at 25 or 30 depends how heavy your arrow is how many pounds your bow is we're just gonna click them the mount down so that at that position we may be good at 30 we might be good at 35 it depends what your setup is and then the further we go back we just keep clicking it you know we there's 18 clicks available so we're just keep down 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 we can go all the way to the bottom that's that's what it looks like you know when we're all the way to the bottom um the mount itself is this thing is tough it's like a gun you know, it's like a scope on a gun. You can't, you, my son dropped it out of a tree and half hour later he shot a deer. So it, it's tough unless you bang your rest or something. Um, this is just the ultra dot mount. It's got one, four MOA dot and 11 brightness settings. So I'll show you how all we care about as far as our anchor is we're centering the dot. If, if we torque the bow, I'm just gonna point this at you. We twist the bow back and forth it, it changes where the dot sits left and right. So I don't care what release you use, it doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. So right here, the dot's centered. I never take my eye off. So I'm here, I'm looking at the target, center the dot, and we shoot. bad for a first try so obviously this needs a little bit of adjustment but this just shows you how consistent this is the first time I've, I've shot this and I haven't even sighted it in so I uh, got lucky to get in this tight already but you can see the consistency here I'm shooting from 25 yards and um, you know a little bit of adjustments I'll be right in the bullseye but very very easy to use if you'd like to check it out Go to their website at adjustablereddot.com. And again, just um, for hunting, can't beat it. Simplifies things, makes things a little more instinctively um, oriented. Just remember, it may not be legal in all states. I'm in Idaho, so unfortunately I can't hunt with this. But it is a lot of fun to shoot. But uh, check them out. 